Peg Gooding. Right. Did you grow up here in Seneca County? Uh, eight miles south. Okay. By St. John's Bridge. Okay. You don't know where that is. No, I do. I actually you do. Yeah, yeah. And you grew up on a farm, right? Yes. What did you grow on that farm? A um, little bit of everything. Milk cows mostly. So cattle. Yeah, milking cows. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hay. What was that? Wheat. Uh, so everything. Yeah. What was that like? Well, I was when we moved there. I was six, and when we moved to town, I was twelve during the war. My brother was went to service. My sister went to service. So Dad gave up farming, and they worked at Plumbrook, which was an art uh, war factory for a year. Where moved here when you were six? Six years old. Six years old. Definitely. Where did Where did you live before you uh, moved to the farm? We lived on another farm. Oh, okay. It was S still south growing. Of town. Okay. Yeah, my dad was always a farmer. Okay. Cool. That's awesome. Cool. And then during the war, uh, my brother went to service, my sister went to service, so he gave up farming, and my mother and dad worked at Plumbrook, which was a war factory during the war. Okay. And then uh, they moved, we bought a house in town, and then he didn't do much. My dad, my mom worked at an egg factory, <laughs> sorting eggs. Well, um. What was the hardest part about living and working on a farm? Well, you had to work. You always had a garden. Yeah. And they milked cows, so they had to make hay and straw to bed them. Mm -hmm. And uh, they used to milk them by hand. Then we got electricity, my dad had. And then they got electricity, and then they had milkers. Mm -hmm. They hooked them onto the cow. <laughs> and then they had electric, and uh, you didn't have to milk them by hand. Yeah. How many? Uh, how many? How many cattle did you have on your farm? Uh, he had about fifteen. Fifteen, twelve. And how how big was the farm? Because you you how big was the farm? Because you guys you had it, it cattle. It was hundred and sixty okay. acres. Wow. He rented it from A. J. Allman, which owned the Sean Hotel okay. at that time. That's awesome. You remember that? <laughs> and I was only 12 and he'd work in the garden so I'd go over and help him you know in the garden really just talk to him and then he pretty soon he says he says I believe I'm thirsty he said so I mean we were farmers we never got coke or anything like you guys do today so I go down have a coke and he'd have his <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I never will forget that. Um, so definitely being a farm owner is hard, a lot of work. But what was the most rewarding part about working on a farm? Well, keep it neat. Yeah. Milk and cows, you always had to... I, I was the, young, the youngest, the rest of the, my other two, three, had to help in the barn and stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, you worked all the time. Yeah. So what what were your daily duties? Like what were your specific duties that you were in charge of on the farm? I didn't have many because I was the youngest. You were the youngest one, yeah. <laughs> but my sisters, my one sister always helped milk and my brother. And the other sister, she didn't like to work. So she, <laughs> she always felt, didn't feel good. Yeah. And I was too long, you know. Yeah. We moved to town when I was 12 during the war. So and my mom and dad worked at the Pumbrook, mm -hmm. where the war factory was. What, what did you do once you moved away from the farm? Well, we lived in town. I was only 12. Yeah. But I walked to school, and then I was lucky to have a neighbor in the same class, so I got to ride with them. Mm -hmm. And uh, her dad owned the Coke plant. Okay. Yeah. What, uh, what did you do after you got out of school? Well, I went with a farmer when I was 16 and ended up marrying him. Yeah. So you so left the farm. So we lived in a house trailer in front of my in-laws. Okay. Right in front of it, you know, because uh, 
septic tank was there and the water was there, you know, and he was an only child. So we lived there for what, about five or five or six years in front. Mm -hmm. And then we built a house, just a house, bought three acres and built a house closer to town. You know the, where the National Machinery is? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's right on Heidelberg's campus. Yeah. We're just off of it. Well, we're, we were on Greenfield Road, just down there. Okay. And then, um, <coughs> and then I married Marv and we lived in the house trailer and then we built a house and then his uh, mom and dad rented the farm. So, mm. and there was two sisters in town, so they had to sell the farm. They wanted to sell the farm or have a, another nephew farm it. So then we bought a farm, rundown farm, and the house was insulated with straw and mud. Wow. And, it, and we had to, there was a family of 12 lived there. So we had to tell them they had to move. And they were paying $35 a month rent. But when we went over one time, and we thought she was home and she wasn't, I said, I had never been in the house. So we done something you should that we went in the house. I said, Marv, you got a movie, get these people out of this house. Because <laughs> we were going to build there. Mm -hmm. It was a mess. I mean, you could see where the bathroom, you could see the ground. They had an outdoor john. Mm -hmm. But he bought sight unseen the farm, you know, and they were living in there. So, and uh, they had wooden a wooden table with just benches on each side, wow. and they were the happiest. He went to work every day, but he came home and done nothing. But she was one of these happy people. So they and all their kids turned out. One manages, uh, one of the girls manages a trailer court over here. Mm. So, awesome. and all of them turned, one of them got killed on 224. But, oh. but so, she was a happy-go-lucky. <laughs> so when you, you left the farm, then once you married, you moved back to a good spot of land. Well, what, did, well, what did you guys grow again? Well, we lived in front of my in-laws in a house trailer. Yeah. For five years. Then we decided to go down the road and we bought three acres. Did you grow anything? Any uh, no. He kept farming. Oh, just kept farming? Yeah, but we didn't want to live in. So we bought three acres and built a new house. Mm -hmm. And then about three or four years, oh, maybe more than that, this farm came up for sale on uh, County Road 15. And uh, Rundown house, I told you, it was made of mud and straw. Yeah, yeah. So we bought that, so we tore the house down. We built a new house, and he built the land up. The land was run down, and he uh, hauled a lot of lime. He believed in lime, so he hauled a lot of lime, and then he sold a liquid fertilizer, grower's fertilizer, and so and and now our son lives on the, on the farm. We same, bought it. Same place. Same place. That's awesome. Well, went to a Colum Columbian High School. Mm-hmm. And he did too. Were you in the Were you in the girls' trumpet band? Were you in band at high no, school? No. No. Or do you no. remember the girls' band? No. Really? No, they I was. Boys' band, the girls' band back then. I wasn't in any band. Did you do any uh, do any extracurriculars in high no. school? No. No. What were what were I your, worked. You worked. <laughs> yeah. Do you have any hobbies? Do I have a hobby? Did you have any hobbies in high school? Any fun stuff? Any hobby? Yeah. Not really. No. Just working. He was much. a farm boy, and he. I don't know how he picked me, but we had study hall, and he started saying hi to me when I went in. I was a sophomore, and he was a senior, hmm. and he never graduated because there was one teacher that one giving. He had he had about four, four boys or men or whatever you call your age when you're a senior. He let them come in and take the test until they 
past that it was ancient history. Well, you know, Marv wasn't interested in ancient history. <laughs> and he wouldn't let him come in and take it. He had to, he would have had to go back a senior year mm -hmm. and take uh, take that ancient history. So six weeks before he was supposed to graduate, he quit school. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh. So we uh, okay. lived in front of his folks, and then there was a farm came up. We built a new house. It was Aladdin home already, uh, pre-cut. And it was just five acres, and then this farm, rundown farm, came for sale, 160 acres. So we went over and bought that. That's we, awesome. <laughs> and it was a, I told you the house was mud and straw. Yeah. So that house came down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and we built a new house there. And it's still there, and our son lives there. And what street is that on? It's County Road 15. County Road 15. Out past the National, you know where the yep. National, National Machine is? Yeah. Okay. Well, it's not by the greenhouse, it's the next crossroad. And then you turn right. And then we're on the left after you go down. Before you cross, cross the bridge, we're back a long lane. Mm -hmm. the son still lives there. That's awesome. What, what did you do for fun in Tiffin? When you were, what did you do for fun in Tiffin? For fun? Yeah, when you were in high school. We square danced. Really? Yeah. Oh. We went to Meadowbrook. What, what, what was that? Bascom. You know where Bascom is? No. No. Yeah. They have a big dance hall. Oh, really? Yeah, I didn't it's know. still there today. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They have, de they have receptions, wedding receptions and everything. Yeah. That was the first uh, date I had with him. Didn't even know who he was. But his dad and my dad went to the auctions on Monday, you know, sales, and uh, they got to talking, and then Marv called me and wanted me to go square dance. I never square danced in my life. I was 16. He was 18. Yeah. So that was the first date, square dancing. Yeah. And a couple of his cousins went along, so. Did you ever see any of the big bands? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We went to a lot of dances after that. Really? Tommy Dorsey and a lot of the big bands were there, weren't they? Yeah, at Meadowbrook, yeah. We used to, we had a club that wore tux. We wore tux and the women wore long dresses mm -hmm. to dances. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, Peg Gooding, thank you. I appreciate it. as grow